Alright, so what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee video. Um, literally, this is probably going to be a really, probably the most, uh, requested video regarding this game for, like, everybody. And it's basically how to get a lot of berries, like, an easy way to get berries. Um, there's gonna be multiple ways you can do this, actually. Um, but I guess I'll go over the two methods that I know the best because it's really hard to play this game and try to catch pokemon and everything like that when berries are so scarce especially on like, later game portions and it's kind of just like wow i need to get some more berries but the only way you can do that is like through like certain ways you can there's only certain ways you can do it but these are the two that i have that have worked really well for me um and so i'm gonna do the easiest one first which is literally you coming in and out of an area and then we'll go to uh the area where we can just start chugging balls at everything it's kind of tedious the second one uh but once you get through it it's gonna be dope so as you can see right now i'm in fuchsia city and literally to the left of fuchsia city there's the route uh, or the the old cycling road for those uh gen oneers obviously um and honestly dude i want you to know this is this is kind of crazy to me because they literally took the entire like bike system out of this game and they made this route basically just nothing but bushes right but these bushes are really, really useful because in these, hold on, calm down, calm down. Get, get out, get off of the Charizard, get off of the Charizard, please. Can I get off, can I get off, take, well, I didn't want to, okay, sure. But in these bushes right here on this route, this long, humongous route, right? In these bushes, you will be able to find, hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Trying to find it, hold on. You gotta find the berries, they're in here, they're in here. Right here, there you go. We got three raspberries. So literally the whole entire purpose of this route, right? Is to essentially just have, be like an easy location for you to just come in, go out and just grab however many berries you want. It's honestly random however much they decide to give you. Um, it's it's kind of cool, like, I guess like, if you do not want to do the little extra tedious method and start catching hella mons, uh, then obviously this would be the one that would be for you. You literally just stand right here, come in and out of said area, and just i guess just grab whatever you want like see i'm over here getting like silver panat berries and raspberries and like that I, I, I it's cool like it's cool as hell but i guess for some people it's kind of boring what you can also do is you can actually uh chain some pokemon in here as well uh, in case you want to like you know go on like a uh a ponyta i guess binge just start throwing balls at those uh the higher your chain is the better uh the better results you are uh, with everything, you still get the, you know, the good IV mods and everything like that. Um, but you also get, like, more berries depending on, like, your chain cat, your chain counter. Um, so that's always something good to be on the lookout for. I know, like, this one is probably going to be the one a lot of people are going to be using a lot. Only because this place is so abundant. Like, like I literally got, like, a lot of berries off of this just, just sitting here already, right? And I didn't get this item. Hold on. Let me get this item right here. I got an elixir. Thank you very much. Um, and this one is probably going to be the one that I'm going to be using the most as well. As an Eevee, oh my god. Not so rare anymore, huh? <laughs> you, you can find it on the ground, too. That's not even... Well, I guess it's inside the bushes. This one's okay. Like, this one's totally fine. I know the one that... The tedious one that a lot of people are probably gonna, like, not uh, get on towards is gonna be, like... It's kind of it's kind of weird how this next one's gonna go. But I, I, it's easy to explain it. Uh, it's, it's easier to show it than explain it. But I just wanna show you guys what you can basically do in this one. Like I said, on this route... You can literally just come in to this place, grab however many berries you can from these bushes, and then leave. You can literally come right back as soon as you get in and just get farm as many berries as you can. And this is probably the most easiest method of doing so, uh, of obtaining just regular berries. And these are just regular, regular berries, regular ras, uh, purple rases, and all that stuff. And it's cool. Like, it's, it's cool. I, this is probably, like I said, this is probably the one that I'm going to be doing the most. I'm trying to see if I can get some more before we get out to the end of this. You got a pinat berry that's cool and you won't always get guaranteed get three which is unfortunate but i mean something something is better than nothing right especially when we're trying to like you know find an easier method uh to do this you know beggars can't be choosers but literally all you gotta do is come right out and go right back in and here we are back <laughs> back in this route and we should be able to find another let me grab it let me grab it this should be right here it should hold on. You gotta, you gotta get in here. Route 17. And hold on. Trying to find it. Wait for it. It's gonna be a while. You gotta press. Keep pressing. Hey, 
I've been pressing A this whole time. I've been pressing A this entire time, too. He's got to chill out. Ugh. Ah. It's not gonna. There you go. There you go. Got a peanut berry. There you go. Like I said, it's not. It's 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 very, very tedious, very boring. But I'm I'm pretty sure when it comes to this type of game, beggars can't be choosers. Like I said. But another method. Now that we have that, and I'm gonna use my girl queen over here. I'm gonna go ahead and take us to a place in the beginning of the game. Oh, not this. Well, not this. Secret techniques. I'm gonna go take us to Viridian Forest. Um. Because what I've noticed in Viridian Forest is Viridian Forest has a lot of mons um, that actually give you a lot of uh, give you a lot of items, and I think it's because they're low leveled mons. I think I, I want to say it's because of that, but I'm not 100% sure. It's like sure, but like I said, this is the one that's this is the very very tedious one that a lot of people might not rock with. But hey, it's better than nothing, and we're trying to get as much stuff as possible. But like I said, I think I think it's because of low-level mods. Low-level mods uh, give you a high chance of obtaining, I guess, a lot of berries, a lot of items like that. I'm pretty sure, like if you get, like a certain chain, is you can get like rare candies and other various candies as well as berries attached to them. But if you also wanted to, you can sit here and just start chugging balls at anything, and they'll have berries. But something I've noticed about the Viridian Forest guys, I just wish that Ultra Ball and the Pidgey. I'm so mad. What I've noticed about the Viridian Forest bunch is that they always have some type of items on them. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it just is what it is. We just have to find that we have to find as many mods as possible. We just have to make sure that we're like doing our thing. I kind of want to. I'll switch it when we get. I kind of want to find like a uh, Pidgey. Let me get a Pidgey right now. Another Pidgey. So I can at least start a chain. If we can start a chain, that'd be great. Come here. Come back. I want you. Thank you. I just want to start this chain. If we can start a chain, it'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you. I want to switch over to my Pokeballs. Because you have more Pokeballs than we have anything else. Put a ball in here. And like I said, the uh, the chain, like, it depends on your captures. Uh, see if you can get, like, uh, great, nice, but more so, see if you can get excellent uh, captures. Because those help out more. They also give you, like, bonuses and everything like that. Look at that. I just got a Pinat Berry, and I just got a Quick Candy. Obviously, it's a smaller one, but it gets the job done. It's still a, it's still a, I said it's a large one. The L is a large one. So yeah, just keep chaining like mons, level mons, just fodder mons in general. You can definitely just get through this game with like no, no issue whatsoever. I'm just gonna sit here and just chain up mons. <clears throat> but like I said, it's easier uh, to do this because you don't have to like, you don't have to struggle with the Pokemon. You literally just chug a ball at them and they go in like. At this point in the game, you're already really skilled at throwing a ball unless you just started and you're trying to like get stocked up that quick. But literally, just keep your chain going. And like I said, it's not guaranteed 100%, but they're, like that's pretty much the easiest way to go about it. Like it, it's, it's tedious, don't get me wrong, and you'll end up with a lot of mons that like are really, really use, like useless. But with the whole Sentin Professor feature that the Pokemon, uh, that, the, that this game does have where you can just exchange uh, dupes for candies, it's actually really useful, and I'm gonna be using that. Oh damn it! You stop jumping in the air! Stop it! Thank you. Oh my goodness! Three, two, one. It's gonna be easy to just, I guess, farm candies and farm uh, berries as well. Like I said, I, this one is the more tedious one that I'm not really like a fan of. I'd much rather do the Future City one where I can just come in and out grab as many berries as I can, go right back to the exit, come right back in and go do that. But see, I just got berries from that. I just got berries from that too. I got a pinat berry. And you can just keep chaining, keep and keep comboing your mons and you pretty much are guaranteed uh, something dope. And now it, it's, like I said, this, this is the one I'm not really a fan of. And I know a lot of people are gonna look at this and be like, Nick, what is this dog? But that's literally what the game is. This game is not really, I've noticed that this with this game, it's very lenient. But it's very tedious. They really want you to focus on uh, capturing as many mods as possible. And they really want you to focus on the chain combo as well. So the chain combo is, is you just have to keep initiating this. The chain combo is the only way uh, all this stuff is going to work. Like I said, it's not guaranteed 100%. But obviously, uh, the more your chain, the better the results and the better the benefits from it as well. Um, you can do it with any mod that you want. I just chose Pidgey. We can literally switch it to whatever else, whatever mod that we decide to go into. But I just chose Pidgey uh, for this very... I mean, that's the case. I could have went to the to Route 1, right? I could have just went to Route 1, but it doesn't matter. It's a tiny one. This one's probably going to have something on it. Hold on. This one's probably going to have something on it. Wait for it. Three, two, one. 
the tiny and the big ones might have some stuff on them versus the regular ones. So let me see. This one's gonna have yeah, look, look, look at this. So we can like farm berries. We can farm like candies and uh berries off of these guys, and it's all through the through the the wondrous magic of the chain combo. Shout out to the chain combo, hundred percent. But it's cool. Like it's 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 a very very like quote, quote unquote unique, very tedious, very uh rewarding feature. It, it all adds up in the end, so it doesn't really like. I guess it's rewarding. In a sense, this one isn't gonna give me like these two aren't gonna give me anything at all. I already know it's not, but yes, that's honestly pretty much it. I genuinely, for me personally, I'm probably gonna be using uh, the Fuchsia City method uh, right there before I do anything. That seems to be the only way I can actually um, get guaranteed berries. At least with this one, you can get candies as well. You're getting, I'm getting more candies than I am berries. And if you guys are doing this, you're probably gonna end up being lucky than I am. But in the chain combo of seven, I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna be, be we're gonna be here for a minute, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find a we're gonna find a shiny Pidgey before we even find uh before we even find a uh before we get enough berries that we're looking for. So it's cool. It's a cool like I said. It's a cool little method. It's all right. It's not the best way to go about it. Like I said, I'd much prefer the Future City one to the left. Of future city but I, like i said it, it's it's better than nothing 100 percent better than nothing um i know a lot of people are probably going to be like looking for uh, like a farming guide uh for this one so this small one might actually have some stuff that i like might need for this entire video watch this hold on bow catch it that's a great capture too i'm trying to get i'm trying to get better at my captures i want i really want an excellent throw if i'm gonna excellent throw i feel like i would get more your, your throws really do matter in this game so right now we just got hella candy. We just got a regular quick candy, quick candy large, and we got an XL. That's crazy. So yeah, we're farming, we're literally farming like berries and candy. So I might dead ass change the title of this video to how to, to how to farm uh berries and candy in this game. Cause this and honestly, it all just comes down to the chain. That's literally it. Like the whole purpose of this is supposed to show you guys the chain method and how you can uh chain combo a lot of things. And if you're those who are uh I guess uh devoted to the shiny hunting uh if you get to a chain of 31 plus you will guarantee you will i guess look raise your odds i think it's one out of 300 at 31 encounters to encounter a shiny pokemon and if you keep trying to catch pokemon after 31 uh there's a high chance that you will encounter a uh really good six iv uh five iv pokemon as well through the chain combo method so with that being said if you guys enjoyed like comment subscribe if you guys did if not then i apologize Ho hopefully i can come back with a better uh tutorial and a more detailed one because i'm pretty sure there will be more methods in the future but until then this is pretty much all we can do um it's cool like it, it's it's cool it's cool um like comment subscribe all that extra good stuff i'm out y'all bye light the leaf we glow in tree and you can call it therapy take a sip or two or three i close my eyes i feel it peace break down the weed past the dutch we put it on it the fuck is up